so it's all self-illuminating and looks exactly like that. So you want to do that for the incandescence channel. You want to go ahead and add the same map, the wallpaper background, and so it'll be bright. Okay, well, it looks a little bit different than the actual uh, view that I have for the render. So we need to just do one more thing, and that's there's a couple more things. Let's go ahead and um, polygons. We'll edit. We'll create a planar map. And then we're going to go ahead and edit UVs and just normalize it. Okay, and it's reversed, so we'll go ahead and grab this, select it, the uh, plane, and underneath the uh, channel box, we're going to go ahead and rotate it by 180 degrees in the Y. So now it should set up exactly like this right here. Next, we want to add two lights. We want to add a, a spotlight. Uh, that's white and we're going to add a fill slash rim light which is going to be basically kind of this green star background bounce light on the uh, edge right here of the, of the moon here in the dark area of the moon dark side so it's going to be showing up a little bit of bounce light that's not really um, we're not going to use radiosity or anything like that so let's go ahead and just do this so let's go ahead and create under the create panel light point light We'll move that out here. Okay. Under the attribute editor for this, we're going to change the color. We're going to change it not to HSV. We're going to use RGB colors. So what we want to do is we want to grab this color and make it 0090 for the red. Green is going to be 0.38. And for the blue, we're going to put 0.58. Sorry. We want to do one more thing. So I have I have this value here. I needs to be RGB 0 to 1. Sorry. So let's go ahead and do that. 0 0.09. Perfect. That's what we want. And let's make sure we have that in the right location for that particular point light as well. So that particular one will be uh, locations 313 for X. Y is going to be 0. So let's keep that the way it is. And then the negative 132 here. All right. Next thing we want to do is create the spotlight. So create our light again. Spotlight. Move that out. And I'm going to scale it up so I can see the actual spotlight itself. So make it 150. And let's move that over here. And I have the coordinates for that as well, so we'll go ahead and put that in negative 1275 for x, 785 for y, and 1086 for z, and we're going to rotate that in negative 13 for x, negative 43 y. And a negative 1.3 for Z. And that's the intensity is 1, and we're going to have a color value of um, white. Oh, last thing, we want to add the shadows to that. So use underneath shadows for that light. Use depth map shadows and leave the default setting at 512 for the resolution of that. Okay, so let's do a quick render of this and see what it looks like. Now we're getting there. The only problem is, of course, we have the lights affecting the background stars, uh, shadow as well as illuminating them. So let's go ahead and exclude those light sources from those lights. 
or the plane actually from those lights. So we do that by going to the rendering uh, module here and under lighting shading at the top you want to go ahead and create the light linker editor or select it and go light centric and we want to pick the point light and say we don't want it to uh, affect the plane and the spotlight we also don't want it to affect the plane and then just go ahead and close that up and we'll render that Yeah, we're pretty good, pretty good, getting close. The last thing we need to do is just um, set up our camera for the render. So let's go ahead and create our camera. We'll move that out, and I'm going to scale that up so I can see that as well. Let's say 150 for that. Yeah, a little big. Let's make it 75. Okay, so you can see everything set up there. And let's go ahead and for our camera, we're going to go ahead and put that at 160 for X. Our Y is going to be 127. And our Z will be 1139. And then we're going to do a little rotation in X. We're going to make that a negative 4. And in Y, we're going to do 1.5, and then keep that at 0 for the rest. And let's go ahead and change our panel, or to the camera actually. So select panel in the viewport, camera 1. So there we are. And I'm going to change my resolution to a little bit higher resolution, uh, about 1280 by, or actually 1920 by 1080. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and go to display renders window uh, button here and we'll go ahead and pick 1920 by 1080 for the height and then in Maya software it's set to low quality by default we'll go highest quality hit close and we'll go ahead and hit render there okay there it is finally there's the render to me obviously it's it's a little too shiny so I'm just gonna bring down the uh, the uh, spec on this particular render so I'm gonna close that out I'm gonna pick the sphere and I'll go back to the attribute editor for blend and I'm gonna bring down, down my specular or reflectivity so I'm gonna bring those down Maybe right about there. And let's take a little render again. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Yeah, that's looking more like the moon. I mean, it is dust, so it's not going to have a ton of reflection on it, but you can kind of see a little bit of that. And you can adjust it and make settings the way you want it to look, but this is kind of the way I 